guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So for the longest time, I have been getting requests from you guys on my YouTube and my Instagram to film a one brand affordable makeup tutorial. So today I'm doing just that. So this video today is in collaboration with W7 Cosmetics. They are a high quality, affordable, cruelty free makeup brand. So even though you don't have to break the bank to purchase W7 Cosmetics, the quality of the makeup is so good. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway with W7 Cosmetics for you guys. So at the end of the video, I'll show you how to enter and it's super easy. I'll be doing one giveaway here on YouTube for you guys that are subscribed to me. And I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway over on my Instagram. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I created this completely glam, but quite easy to replicate makeup look using W7 Cosmetics. So first of all, as always, I'm applying my foundation to my eyelids and my forehead before anything else. The foundation I'm using is this one here. It is the W7 HD foundation and the color I'm using is Sand Beige. I'm applying this foundation all over my eyelid as it's gonna act as the base to my eyeshadow. I'm also applying the foundation to my forehead but I'm not doing the rest of my face just yet as I know there's gonna be fallout for this look and I wanna be able to wipe it off quickly and easily. To set my foundation in place, I'm going in with the W7 Banana Dreams Loose Powder. This powder has a very slight yellowish tone to it but it's mostly translucent. So I'm using this to set my foundation in place. It's incredibly finely milled. You can't hardly see it on the skin at all. So if you're looking for a powder that's not gonna give you that cake finish this powder is going to be for you. Now I'm just applying some tape to my eyes as I'm going to use this as a kind of stencil to give me a real cat eye effect to this makeup look. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be going in with today is this one here. This is the W7 Beat It eyeshadow palette. It contains 12 eyeshadows. Some of them are mattes, some are shimmers, and it's full of nudes, pinks, coppers, and earthy tones. So the color I'm going in with first of all is this one here. It's called Moon Shadow and it's a beautiful matte warm top. I'll be applying this all over my eyelid as this is gonna act as our transition shade to help blend the darker colors into our eyelids as well. This color is super soft, so I'm gonna layer it up a little bit just to give it that bit more warmth. And I'm also winging the color out to the outer corners of my eyes. So the next color I'm taking is this one here. It's called Billboard. It's a deep brown shimmer. So I'm applying tiny amounts of this color at a time as I wanna be able to build up the pigment and not go in too much too fast. So what I'm doing is applying it just above my crease. So I'm kind of creating a soft cut crease effect and I'm also making my eyes look bigger at the same time. Then I'm just going in with a blending brush to blend it out and make it look a lot softer and smokier. Next I'm going in with this shade here which is called Film Star and it's a real pale pale pink matte. I'm gonna be applying this just to the mobile lid and I'm gonna really pack that color on because I wanna brighten up that mobile lid because by doing that it's gonna make your eyes look even bigger and brighter. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes and the arch of the brow bone, I'm going in with the Yummy Eyes All White eyeshadow. As you can see, it's a real white shimmery shade, perfect for an inner corner highlight. Now this color is coming up a little bit lighter on camera than it is in real life. In real life, it's a real deep charcoal shade, so it's not quite pure black, but it's much darker than a dark brown. This color is called Late Again, and it's a matte. What I'm doing is applying it just to the outer corners of my eyes, and I'm gonna really deepen up that outer crease. So I'm almost applying it in a reverse C shape. Then I'm going in with my blending brush again just to blend it out and make it look a little bit softer. And then I'm taking a detailing smudging brush and I'm going back in with that late again eyeshadow. And I'm gonna kind of create a smoky eyeliner almost. So I'm not using a liquid liner for this look. I'm gonna emphasize the top lash line and make it look fuller and more voluminous using eyeshadow. So if you have hooded eyes, this look will be really good for you. So I'm taking that charcoal shade on the smudging brush and I'm kind of pressing it and rubbing it into the roots of my top lash line. So instead of a liquid liner, this will give you a really soft, smoky, grungy effect. Now I'm just carefully removing my tape and I'm gonna apply some pencil eyeliner. The eyeliner I'm using is called King Cole Eye Pencil. So with this pencil, I'm carefully lining the waterline of my top lash line. Then what I'm doing is closing my eyes and running the pencil liner through the roots of my lashes. So again, this is going to darken up our top lash line, make it look thicker and outline our eyes more. Now moving on to brows, I'm obsessed with this brow pencil. It is absolutely amazing and for the price point, you cannot go wrong. So the brow pencil I'm using is called W7 Super Brows Super Definition Eyebrow Pencil. And the color I'm using is blonde. As you can see, the pencil is so pigmented. You barely have to touch your eyebrows and you get so much pigment, so you don't have to scrape at your brows. Like I know some eyebrow pencils make you have to do just to get some pigment onto your brows. So all you have to do is press really lightly and gently fill in your brows. 
I'd actually say this is one of the best eye rub pencils I've ever tried. Now it's time to wipe away that fallout that I knew I would get under my eyes and this is why I didn't do my foundation first of all, but I'm doing my foundation now. So I'm just going back in with the same HD foundation that I used on my eyelids at the start of the video and I'll be applying that all over my face. I don't know if you guys have seen in the video, but my skin, but my skin today is super dry. I don't know what's going on with it. And I'm actually really enjoying this foundation because it's a lot more hydrating than foundations I usually use. Now it's time for highlighting. This is my favorite part of every video. I'm going to highlight twice, which is what I usually do because I really like to make my highlight pop. So first of all, I'm going in with this product here, which is called Strobe and Glow. And the color I'm using is Moonlight. I'm going to be applying that straight on top of my foundation on my cheekbones. Then I'm just going to blend it out to make it look really soft and natural. And then I'm going in with the magic product. This is the Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter Eyeshadow. So you can use it as an eyeshadow if you want to, as an inner corner highlight, things like that. But obviously I'm using it as my facial highlighter. Look how pigmented that highlight is. Oh my god. You only need the smallest amount and it highlights you to the high heavens. Right, now moving on to contouring. I'm obsessed with these three sticks here. These are the W7 crayons. You've got a highlight, contour, and bronze shade. And these are completely comparable to the Smashbox contour sticks. So the crayon I'm going to be using is the contour crayon. And I'm going to contour my nose. So all I do is draw two lines down the side of my nose, blend it out, draw a few lines underneath the tip of my nose to make it look a little bit slimmer. Then I'm taking the contour crayon and I'm going to contour my cheekbone. So I'm just drawing kind of where I wish my cheekbone looked more prominent. And then again, going back in with a brush to blend it out and make it look more natural and softer. Now I'm going back in with the W7 Banana Dreams Loose Powder and I'm going to bake my under eyes and set the rest of my foundation in place. If you guys have heard of the Ben Nye Banana Powder, this is so similar. I've tried both and I think I actually prefer this powder because you can't see it on the skin. It's super finely milled and extremely mattifying, which for me with oily skin, I love. So what I'm doing is taking a sponge and applying a huge amount of the Banana Dreams Powder to my under eyes. And then I'm just going to let that set for a bit. Now moving on to lips, I'm going in with this lip cream here. This is called the W7 Skinny Lipping Matte Nude Lip Color. And the color I'm using is called Ouch. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out this range of lip creams, you need to. I'll put a link to them in the description box down below. They have the best shades. All right, moving back to eyes, I'm going to be working on the lower lash line now. So I'm going back in with that moon shadow color and I'm applying it directly underneath my lower lash line and really smoking it out. Next, I'm going back in with Late again, which was that charcoal matte shade, and I'm applying it as close to my lower lashes as possible. So we want to darken up that lower lash line, but not too far underneath that lower lash line. So we're not bringing down the dark shadow too far. Then I'm just going to blend it out so it looks a lot softer and smokier. Now I'm just going in and flicking away that excess Banana Dreams loose powder and moving on to bronzer. Do you guys remember Michelle from my last makeup tutorial? Well, this is her favorite bronzer. She just keeps buying this again and again and again. And she says that it's comparable to the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And after trying it myself, she's correct. It's almost an exact dupe for the Hula Bronzer from Benefit, but much more affordable. So I'm going in with the W7 Honolulu Bronzer and I'm going to apply it to all high points on my face that the sun would hit naturally. So the tops of my cheekbones and my forehead. For blush, I'm going in with this gorgeous blush here. I love this shade. This is the Candy Floss Blush. And as you can see, it's a real baby pink, but with a really fine kind of sheen to it. Like it's almost got a shimmer to it, but it's very fine. So it doesn't look like sparkles on your cheeks. So I'm just smiling at myself in the mirror and applying the blush to the apples of my cheeks. For mascara, I'm going in with the Absolute Lashes Mascara, which I actually think is very similar to the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've tried both and they're very similar, although I'd say the W7 Absolute Lashes Mascara is a more gel-like formula and I find that it doesn't transfer to my eyelids throughout the day because I do tend to have oily eyelids and a lot of mascaras end up on my eyelids, but this one didn't. Also, the brush in this mascara is really good. It's quite firm, so you can really make sure that you're getting every single lash and coating every single lash in the mascara. Now, for my false lashes, I'm applying the W7 Get Real Lashes. I will link which style I used in the description box down below for you. And as always, I cut mine up into clusters because I have slightly hooded eyes. I just find lashes easier to apply this way and they're more comfortable for my eye shape to wear this way as well. But the thing I love about these lashes is they are cruelty free, of course, but they're also super lightweight and fluttery. So they don't feel, so they don't feel heavy on the eyes.
So here we go guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I personally love how this makeup look turned out. It's right up my alley. And look at that highlight, like what? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Check down below because I'll link all the products from W7 that I've used on my face so that you can find them nice and easily. I'll also put my social media and W7's social media down there in case you wanna check either of ours out. And now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna win in my YouTube W7 giveaway. I'll insert a picture of it right here for you so you can see. So this is everything that you could win in this giveaway if you want to. So to win, all you need to do is comment in the comment section down below, hashtag Langfam. I'll put it right here in case you can't understand my accent or something because I do get people saying that. So comment in the comment section down below, hashtag Langfam. That is you guys, my subscribers, you are the Langfam. So comment that down below. And what I'm gonna do is randomly go through all the Langfam comments. I will randomly select one person that has commented hashtag Langfam. And on Friday the 28th, so one week from from today, I will announce the winner in the description box of this video. So on the 28th, if you've entered the competition, come back, check the description box, and if you've won, your YouTube username will be there, and I will then contact the winner, and the winner will get sent their products. For all terms and conditions of how to enter the giveaway, in case I've forgotten to say anything, because knowing me, I probably have, I will put everything in the description box down below. So just check the description box down below for all the makeup products I've used in this tutorial, my social media, W7 social media, and how to enter the giveaway. And don't forget as well, I am going to be holding a giveaway on how to win another bunch of W7 cosmetics over on my Instagram. So I'll put my Instagram handle right here. You can enter this YouTube one and you can enter the Instagram one if you want to, it's completely up to you. So head over there and check out that giveaway as well. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more one branded affordable makeup tutorials from me, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.